welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today I want to talk to you about Meal for Vets here in Texas. Yes, Meals for Vets here in Texas. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and Reddit for more content. And veterans who would love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Just want to put a little disclaimer out there. I am not affiliated with any of the organizations and companies that I put out. I'm just a veteran who talks about these things because there's a lot of information out there that veterans have no clue about. And I just want to make sure that I get this out there to my brothers and sisters who, who serve because one of the um, misinformation out there is that veterans know. I'm going to be honest to you, there's a lot of things that veterans don't know because, again, there's not someone who sits down with you and they talk about these things unless they're a veteran like me and the many other veterans who are out there putting out information daily to ensure that our brothers and sisters know what's going on. So let's get into it. Meals for Vets is an actual organization um, that feed veterans um, who are in a situation where they're facing a financial crisis. And I thought it was pretty cool when I discovered this program. Um, I'm pretty sure there may be somebody else who might have talked about it or whatever the case may be, but I don't know if the audience that I talk to know about it. So I just really want to make sure that I put this information out so that if you know of a veteran who's starving, need a meal, need help, you can help them out because a lot of times we see people out on the streets with a sign that says, hey, I'm a veteran. Um, Could you please give me this and that? Well, I have a solution for them that you can pass along to them to make sure that they get the help that they need. And this is the program right here, Meal for Vets, that will help them. And if you want to know how to apply, right here is the criteria. It says, if you're a veteran, um, a 59 and younger in Texas and have few or no financial resources and wish to apply for meal assistance through the Meal for Vet, a program of honoring veterans. Now, please click the button above to complete the online form, upload the required documents, and submit your application. Please note a maximum income limit based on your location and a proof of at least one day of active duty service will apply. So this right here is what you need to do. And if you have any questions or you're unable to complete the form online, call 830-992-3375. Again, that number is 830-992-3375 or email us at info at honorveteransnow.org. When we receive your application, you'll be contacted by phone to verify the information and to request any additional documents and information needed. And right here, they have a section where you can actually upload your documents. Um, I'm gonna put this in the description so that you can go to this actual site and do everything that you need. And it says that each year our grant funders require veterans already receiving meal service to recertify their eligibility to continue meal service for the next grant year. Updated versions of all required financial documents must be submitted each year. If you have been notified that you need to recertify, please click the button above to complete the online form, upload the required documents, and start the recertification process. And again, if you have any questions or you are unable to complete the form online, call the 830-992-3375 number or email them at info at honorveteransnow.org. When they receive the recertification form, you'll be contacted to request any additional documents information needed for other needs such as financial help, housing, employment, etc. Please visit their resource page, which I'll click on it so you can see what it looks like. And 
This is their resource page where they have the Texas Veteran Commissions, Texas Workforce Commission, Texas Veteran Portal, Texas Vet 211, which is a perfect number here in Texas to use as a veteran. So for all y'all out-of-state veterans who don't know about it or in-state veterans who don't know, if you dial 211, they can connect you to people um, and services for food, health, housing, and more. Um, they have the housing um in urban um development Texas assistance program that you can con contact the military family advisory network the combined arms um veteran trans um transition center the endeavors Texas food pantries feed America Texas Texas Department of Agriculture um emergency food assistance program veteran crisis line um paralyzed veterans vet center Texas veteran uh, Texas Neighborhood Service, Veterans Assistance Dogs of Texas. Um, they have it all here, man. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of those organizations in my description so that, you know, you can click on any one of those um, organizations and get the help and the resources that you need it because I don't feel like any veteran should be left behind. And if you're a veteran, you shouldn't want to be left behind. So make sure that, you know, you get in the help that you need. And I just really wanted to click on this box and see how the application looks so that, you know, you can have an understanding of what they're asking you. And I'm just going to, you know, show you real quick what the application looked like so that you will know what it looks like when you go to fill it out. And here is the meal for veteran application um, for meal assistance. And this is right here what they're asking for. They're asking for your names. They're asking for date, birth. You know, they ask for all this important information that they're going to need from you. And if you don't have any of these documents, i done a video to where I put where you can go to the um, veteran um, archives and get a lot of this information if you don't have it. Or um, you can call, you know, the 1-800 um, number for the VA and, you know, get in contact with somebody so that you can get the information that you need and also see where they have places for um, student veterans and ID and, you know, just different information they're asking you for on here. So make sure that you have, you know, all this information and proof of all these things so that when you go apply for this assistance, you can get the um, necessary help that you need and you can move forward, man, because that's what it's all about. It's all about moving forward. And please make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you're a veteran in need and you're not a veteran who just want to receive another entitlement and benefit. So you go out here and you fraud this information. I did a video today about that, and that video should be posted before I even post this video. So please make sure that if you know a veteran or you know of a veteran, if you see a homeless veteran or anybody that you know that may need this assistance, even a college student veteran who may be living off just um their GI Bill. Um, This is for, you know, all of the veterans who are 59 and younger living in Texas needing assistance with meals so that you don't have to go hungry. Please get in contact with this organization. I'm pretty sure that they will help you. I haven't been in a situation where I needed to use them, but I have in the past used 211 for rental assistance and things like that when I first got out because of my situation where I was borderline homeless. And I know that these organizations are great organizations, and I want to support these organizations as well as you should want to support and be helped by these organizations. And as always, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince, Vet Talk. As I like to say, Vet Talk out.